peeps. Happy Memorial Day weekend. A lot of you are probably enjoying yourselves. And that's good. Everybody needs a holiday, right? Right. Okay, so I'm Ariel Grace. And um, you're listening to a Gang of Girls Radio Facebook Live event. Um, we're going to be doing Facebook Live events until September. Yeah. Because uh, I have a couple things that I'm trying to finish right now. And I want to get everything all done. And we've got tons of Mercury or tons of retrogrades going on. We've got Saturn in retrograde. We have... Jupiter in retrograde, and we have Uranus in retrograde, all three. And so I thought, you know, instead of like starting something new during a retrograde, any retrograde, I'm going to wait until September. <laughs> so for those of you who um, want to join the newsletter, you can go to a gangofgirls.com or arielgrace.net and sign up for the newsletter. That way you'll get updates and it'll be very fun for you. Um, so check that out. Um, I'm going to send a newsletter out tomorrow. Okay. I'm in the process of um, finishing up the Lucy Prophet, the third Lucy Prophet Psychic Girl series story. And um, it should be available on the Kindle and paperback on Amazon by June 21st. I think that's the date that I said it, it would be out. So the next psychic story book is going to be the Goo and Cooties book. And a lot of people have asked me about it. Uh, it's how to get rid of your Goo and Cooties. Let's get clear. Let's clear, clear the energy field, clear up those chakras, clear, clear, clear. Because Clarity is what you need every day, all the time. Not just as a, an intuitive or psychic or a healer, but as a person too. So you want to stay clear because the clearer you are, the better decisions you're going to make and the easier it is to hear your spirit guides and angels or ascended masters, those that your team, the peeps that work with you. Okay. So, and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight too is we're going to be talking about our spirit guides and angels. What are they? Um, how do I know it's a spirit guide and angel? A lot of people ask me that. Um, how do I know if I'm receiving messages from my higher and better good? All kinds of fun things like that. So we're going to go over that and we're also going to do a little meditation to connect with a spirit guide and an angel. All right? Okay. <laughs> uh, so you can check out Clarity 101. There's a lot of information about spirit guides and angels there. You can go to arielgrace.net and just click on the Clarity 101 tab. It'll take you right over. You can scroll down, check out the archives there. Lots of inf good information there. I'm still doing $50 Fridays until the end of June. And then we're going to be moving into uh, the July special because, you know, the 4th of July is my favorite holiday of the year. It is. It's our Independence Day celebration. And so I have great past life memories about that whole time, the whole time of the revolution. So um, that's why it's my favorite holiday. It's to celebrate our independence it's to celebrate being Americans and um, to honor those also who assisted with bringing that in to the United States of America. All right. So um, for those of you who need to connect with one who has passed on, a loved one who has passed on, you can check out Psychic Theo. He's my bro at PsychicTheo.com. For those of you who want to map out the rest of the year, and want to know when it's a good time to lay low and when it's a good time to be active, you can check out Rockin' Reverend Rhonda. She is a divine astrologer, and you can check her out at karmiclaw.com. She's also the author of Sister Sage's Astrological Adventure. So check that out on her website as well. Uh, for those of you who are looking for a medical intuitive, you can check out Marcella Zinner 
at MarcellaZ.com. Okay, and all those links are on a Gang of Girls Radio website. So you can check that out. It's down at the bottom of the page there. I'll be doing some construction work on a Gang of Girls Radio website as we get closer into September. So um, <laughs> I've already got people lined up for September. It's pretty cool. Um, all right. Now, uh, tonight we're going to be talking about spirit guides and angels. Uh, I talk a lot about spirit guides and angels, and I'm psychic, not telepathic. Okay, that's a book you, that I wrote. Uh, you can find it on arielgrace.net. That's the best place to find it. There's links to Amazon from there. So it'll link you straight up to Amazon or it'll link you straight up to the Kindle, whichever paperback or Kindle book you want. I'm always encouraging people to download instead of paper only because we want to, you know, preserve our trees, right? Right. Cool. Okay, so what's the difference between a spirit guide, an angel, and maybe a hitchhiker? Hitchhikers are um, spirits that are walking the planet. They haven't gone through the veils. They're just hanging out and haunting places. <laughs> um, a, a spirit is not going to be a high frequency. It's not going to be a frequency that emits like love and unity and um, joy okay what it's going to do is it's going to influence you in ways that are not for your highest good you know so it'll influence you instead it'll say hey yeah let's go down to the bar and drink or hey yeah let's go do something crazy and um, that's how they influence you they'll also influence through depression oppression um, manipulation all kinds of good yucky stuff like that okay so you don't you don't want to mess with any of that if you think you got that going on go see a medium and have a medium pull that out of your energy field all right um, you can check out Theo he can do that um, there's a couple other uh, Melinda Carver I can you know so you want to keep that energetic field nice and clear of any spirits that are not for your higher and better good. A spirit guide and angel is going to give you information for your higher and better good and they're going to make you feel good. You're going to feel good. All right. You're going to feel like you're up there. Um, you're going to feel like um, expansion when it's a spirit guide and angel that you connect to. And so um, that's the difference between them. A spirit guide a lot of times is a family member who has passed on and gone through the veils and is there to assist you. Um, also, a spirit guide can be somebody that you knew in a, a different lifetime. Mm -hmm. There are other spirit guides too. There are galactics that can assist and galactics are really cool. Like, they're, they're also expansive. So for those of you who connect with the stars and um, space and you connect with bigger things, um, the galactics can assist you with that. An ascended master could also be a spirit guide. So a lot of you know like um, Jesus, you know Mary Magdalene, you know Mary, Mom Mary, Mother Mary. <laughs> She's awesome, right? Um, Li Ching, uh, there's also like Kuan Yin, Buddha, there's a lot of Ascended Masters and you can look them up online. There's like thousands of them and you can find them there, read about them, find the ones that you're most attracted to. A lot of times a spirit guide, when you're searching and maybe you find a name that really just makes you feel that connection. That's usually somebody that you are connected to and that it is guiding you for your higher and better good. Okay, so make sure that really be discerning when you're working with spirit guides and angels. And there are a couple things in I'm Psychic Not Telepathic that can assist you with that. There's scrying, which is looking in a mirror and focusing on seeing your spirit guides and angels around you. 
And there's also the automatic writing meditation that I have on arielgrace.net. And you can check out both of those. They will assist you with connecting. Um, some people are afraid of like, well, you know, I'll be doing the meditation and something might come in that's not good. Well, that meditation is has been created to where you're protected throughout the whole thing. So there is nothing that will come in that it is not for your higher and better good. Okay. So the automatic writing meditation can assist you. All right. So um, with that being said, you know, spirit guides and angels can assist you in so many ways. And a lot of people say, well, spirit, well, angels, how can an angel assist me? I'm, I am not good enough to hear from an angel or, or maybe, um, you know, you feel like, oh, I'm not special enough. Angels don't see things like, are you special enough for their attention? They see everyone as being special. They see everyone as um, having free will. And uh, they don't, they're not prejudiced. You know, they like everybody. <laughs> the only thing is, is because this is a free will planet, okay, you have to ask for their assistance. They can only assist you if you ask for it. So remember to ask for assistance. And you never know, like there's so many different crazy things that happen once angels start working with you, holy moly. You know, you'll see like street signs, you'll see numbers, you'll see all kinds of different things. And they're giving you signs. They're saying, hey, I'm here, let's do this, okay? So they will assist you and always they'll assist you with upliftment. They will inspire you. They will direct you and they will assist you with your life. So if you want assistance to say, hey, team, spirit guides, angels, I'm here. I'm open to receive your messages mm -hmm. and good guidance. Okay, so open yourself up for that. Um, it's not, it's not some wild and crazy thing, you know, there's, it does happen. And like I said, if you just want to start with like scrying, you can do that. I usually use my bathroom mirror. I turn the light off and, um, I keep like a light from another room on. I close my eyes. I take a breath and I look at my nose or I look up at my forehead and out of the peripheral vision, I say first, I invite and I invoke my spirit guides and angels to come forward so that I may see you. Once you do that, out of the peripheral vision, you'll start to see like maybe little flashes you may even see your own angel wings, or you may see others' angel wings. You may see different things, and it does take practice. So practice, that's an easy thing to do, and it's fun too. Once you start practicing, you won't wanna stop. <laughs> okay, so tonight we're gonna do a meditation for um, connecting with spirit guides and angels. It's a short meditation and you can check it out. I think it's on, I think it's on the meditation page at arielgrace.net or it's on my YouTube channel and you can look it up Ariel Grace. Okay. All right. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a clearing meditation and then we're going to do the spirit guide connecting to spirit guides and angels and then we'll come back into our bodies. If you have any questions after the meditation, let me know. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to first do the clearing meditation. And if you take a nice deep breath, take another deep breath. Good. Now, 
Take a deep breath and breathe in your favorite color of the day. Whatever color that may be. And breathe it in all the way down to the insides of your toes. Filling each toe, your feet, filling your ankles, your calves, filling your knees, your thighs, your hips, breathing in that beautiful color, filling the core of your being, And watch as the color cascades down your arms and into your fingertips, filling each finger, your thumbs, the palms of your hands, your wrists, up to your elbows, your shoulders, your neck, and your head and you fill yourself up so much that you can feel, you can see the color coming out. Your eyebrows and eyelashes, your fingernails and toenails, and the pores of your skin. Now, take another deep breath. And on the exhale, you will see a vortex form at your feet. And with each breath that you take, the vortex spins faster and faster, cleaning and clearing your energetic field with each breath that you take as the vortex spins faster and faster. And the vortex moves up over your feet your ankles, moving up over your calves, your knees, cleaning and clearing your energetic field with each breath that you take as the vortex spins faster and faster. And the vortex moves up over your hips, the core of your being, your shoulders, your neck, and your head, cleaning and clearing your energetic field with each breath that you take as the vortex spins faster and faster. Now, take a deep breath and on the exhale, You'll release the vortex, releasing all things, ideas, energies that are no longer serving you, cleaning and clearing your energetic field. Now, Invite and invoke your spirit guide that speaks to you consistently. You would hear like a little whisper in your ear. Invite and invoke them to come forward so that you may feel them, see them, hear them, know them. And the spirit guide will be on your left side So you might feel like pressure on your left shoulder, left side of your head. And as the spirit kite comes forward and stands with you, ask for a message for your higher and better good. Ask them for their name 
What is their connection to you? And as you are connecting, and getting to know them, the feel of them, you probably remember the feel of them because they've been guiding you this whole time, assisting you, inspiring you, uplifting you. Very good. This is the spirit guide that is the voice. It is the one that speaks to you consistently. So um, there may be other guides and angels that you have, but the, the spirit guides that we're calling for tonight or the spirit guide that we called for tonight is a, like the spokesperson. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're getting to know them. They're probably giving you messages from other spirit guides as well. Okay. Now, release that spirit guide. You'll probably feel more space now where that spirit guide left. Now we're gonna to connect to your guardian angel. Remember the guardian angels are, they work under Archangel Michael. He's the big boss. <laughs> so um, your guardian angel is there to assist you with your life, to guide, guard, and protect you. And that is what they're there for. So when you connect with this guardian angel, you may feel the wings of your angel surround you and hold you. So invite and invoke that our, your guardian angel. I invite and invoke my guardian angel to come forth. You may feel on your right side pressure. You may feel some pressure on your head, pressure around your heart. And ask your guardian angel, what is your name? What is your message for my higher and better good today? Remember, they are the guards, the guides, and the protectors. So you may already know this energy. You may already know how it feels. And so now you can connect with it as your guardian angel. Allow your guardian angel to Embrace you. And receive the message from your guardian angel for your higher and better good. Now release your guardian angel All right, so now you've experienced two different energies. Angels are usually hanging out on the right side. Spirit guides hang out on the left side. Ascended masters are usually above or behind you or maybe in front of you. Your elementals and fairies are down at your feet. Yeah. Okay, so now take a nice deep breath and feel your feet your ankles, your calves, your knees, 
your thighs, your hips, the core of your being, your arms, your hands, your shoulders, your neck, and your head. Good job. Okay. So, hey, Lori, Dana, Theo. <laughs> All right, so if you missed the meditation, you can listen to it later and post it. I'll just post it up on a Gang of Girls radio page, and that way you can, uh, you can do the meditation again. Again, I think the meditation is on arielgrace.net on the meditation page. Uh, if it's not, it's on YouTube. So you can look up Ariel Grace on YouTube and it'll be there. I can't remember what I, if I put it on the web page or not. But um, it's really important for you to know your spirit guides and angels and connect with them. So figure out a way to connect and to um, speak with them, um, hear what they're saying, hear what they're inspiring you to do. Um, they're there to assist you, to direct you on your heart's desire or your soul's journey. So make sure that you're doing that. You know, you're connecting at least once a day to a spirit guide or angel. Just a little check-in, you know, making sure that you're checking in and stuff. Um, I know when my, my guardian angel is around... His name is Lord Damiel, and he is an angel. And he, um, <laughs> hi, Lori, I'm sorry your signal isn't good. And so whenever, um, whenever D Lord Damiel is around me, my guardian angel, I can feel his wings come around me, and I hear, like, the chink of metal, like metal hitting metal when it comes down. And so that's how I know when I need to be aware of my, uh, my surroundings. I need to be present and looking around and seeing what's going on. So because he only does that when, you know, I need to pay attention and be present. <laughs> so um, figure out what your signals are for your, your spirit guides and angels. So that you can um, you can know them, understand them, and connect with them, and you feel good when you're doing that. You feel like, all right, I have direction, or all right, I am supported, because that is what is lacking in a lot of people right now is that love and support that they are so looking for. So that love and support is right there, right there. You got it. You and your team. Okay? All right. So, I don't know what we're doing next week on a Gang of Girls radio Facebook Live event. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. <laughs> and um, we'll, you know, we'll work on it. And like I said, a Gang of Girls radio will be coming back in the fall in September. Um I'm getting ready to release Lucy Prophet Psychic Girl, the third book, and then I'll be working on um, the next Psychic Story Series book. It's the Goo and Cooties book. Yeah. We'll be getting rid of Goo and Cooties. It'll be very fun. So, uh, you never know what could happen, and it's kind of a mediumship book, too. So... We're going to be doing that, and in that book, we'll be also doing other stuff to connect to spirit guides and angels. So that'll be fun. All right. So it was nice to spend time with you tonight. I'm so grateful. <laughs> like the woohoo. Thanks, Lori. <laughs> so just um, tune in next week, Sunday night, 8 Eastern, 7 Central. Five Pacific Time at a Gang of Girls Radio Facebook page. Like it, receive notifications so you know when we're on. And, you know, keep your hearts open and align with the energy of love. Have a wonderful week, wonderful holiday. Stay safe. Bye.